everybody. So we actually landed two days ago, but I think I got food poisoning. So I was like dead for two days. I was literally just in bed and I felt like I really needed to throw up. So we didn't really do anything. I think it was from like the dinner we had the first day we landed. And you know how I talked to you guys about like manifestation and all that and like how like your thoughts become things. So literally when I was eating dinner that night, we were eating oysters, sea like raw seafood in my mind. And I was just thinking like what happens if i get food poisoning from this but it was just like me overthinking and literally the next day when i woke up i started feeling really sick my stomach was hurting and i felt really nauseous i think i threw up a little bit <laughs> but yeah i'm just like okay note to sell we gotta be careful of what we think because sometimes our thoughts really become things so that's like the takeaway of my trip so far but i'm finally feeling a little bit better today so we're gonna go explore the city a little bit it's like amazing here I'll get the still water started. Good morning, everyone. The real reason why we're in Miami is, is actually for Art Basel and also because we actually got invited to um, a couple of private events hosted by Audemars Piguet, which is the watch brand, AP. Today is the first day of events and we are we got invited to the AP house, which is like a 40 million dollar mansion um in one of the private islands in miami and they'll be giving us a private showing of i think rare and special time pieces which i am super excited for i got my makeup done and i'm dressed today i'm wearing this little green dress from Maj that i actually just bought like a couple days ago in miami I mean, I brought a lot of clothes, but I feel like all of the stuff that I brought are kind of inappropriate. Like, <laughs> they're all kind of like too, either they're too casual or they're too slutty. So, yeah, I decided to just get another dress uh, that's a little bit more classy and more presentable, I guess, in these type of settings. Um. <laughs> So unfortunately, I didn't get much footage from the private showing because filming wasn't really allowed. But essentially, we had the first look of the new Code 1159 Star Wheel. We had to sign a NDA before the watch was officially launched. They also showed us some other offshores, Royal Oaks, and Codes. But we did end up purchasing the limited edition 37mm Music Edition Offshore as an early birthday gift to me. It comes with four different colored straps that you can easily switch between. And it's just a colorful and fun timepiece to wear. Can I get the, the tie-up bowl? Do you have no coconut on? Yeah, yeah, no for mine. That's it? Yeah. Yes. So. I 
love the soy balls. Actually, mine is potato. <laughs> oh, what's up? In here, in here, I got that. YouTube. <laughs> YouTube. YouTube and TikTok. Yeah. Okay, yeah. perfect. So this is good for the both. It's December. Oh, wait. Yeah, you're right. Wow. These men come. That's it? Yes. I'm good. I think so. Yeah, I think so. This is cool. I like this one. Yeah, we're good. We lost. Should we go have these? Love them all. me and my dog. lazy so I'm just I thought I'm just gonna take a break and pick up my camera and talk to you guys on the agenda for today is we have a private cocktail party hosted by AP and it's actually for the launching of one of their watches and I think the whole ordeal with Art Basel is in addition to the art exhibition it's also an excuse for people to come party so there are actually a lot of private parties that are hosted by all these different kind of brands where they invite their top clients uh, to attend and also I guess they would some of the brands will launch like new items for next year etc so yeah that's the agenda for tonight and i think after the cocktail party we are i think we're gonna go check out a club yeah everything's kind of up in the air right now and i'll definitely bring you guys with me so i'm dressed this is the dress i'll be wearing for the event as a green little midi dress from opali and this is the only thing that i think is suitable for the event i couldn't find the dust bag for it so i just grabbed the chanel dust bag these are the heels that i'll be wearing i think it'll look nice with all the gold jewelry that i'm wearing these are not the most comfortable heels so i'm probably just gonna try to sit the whole night but yeah let's go Going on a boat called Nectar. Thank you. Uh, uh, no, 
know it. Toto down my shoes, Euro step my moat. I just caught the ring, yeah, my fingers hold on the finer things. That do what I do. When in down I three, me and my brother shook. Toto down my shoes, Euro step my moat. I just caught the ring, yeah, my fingers hold on the finer things. That do what I do. When in down I three, me and my brother shook. Who the fuck is you? Bitch, you need to stop. She swallow all my pride. This is the cutest thing ever. It's Hello Kitty in a pig hoodie eating cup noodles.
is one of the cutest studios I've ever seen. I absolutely love the natural light and it also has a spacious living room area and a center table that divides the room. The bathroom also has an open window overlooking the bedroom and the skylight views from the balcony. The balcony is insanely huge. The camera doesn't quite show how big it is, but I've never stayed at a hotel with such a huge balcony. The views overlooking downtown are also amazing. It is really hot out here and not much shade during the day, so can't stay out here for too long. Last dinner in Miami, and this is what I am wearing for tonight.